Welcome back to my channel. Today I had a little mishap. Uh, I kicked off the connector of my USB stick that was attached to my car radio and I wanted to try to recover the data. So I uh, picked the case off of this and I was really glad to see that um, just the USB connector broke right off right there. So I'm going to try and solder it back on like this and this is the first video I'm trying solely with the blue background so please give me feedback feedback uh, especially about the lighting because I noticed that uh, shiny surfaces do light up quite a bit and if that's like good or bad to watch the first thing I'm gonna do is um, put this on the way I'm gonna solder it on and turn it around carefully and I'm trying to attach it with my green magic gunk stuff over here just let me rip off a piece you see how flexible this stuff is okay put this right here and you can actually feel how it attaches back on. Okay. I can't actually see that well under the camera. This pin stands up quite a bit right there. Okay. Ah, I have to spin it around. Whoops. To get in there with my soldering iron better. Okay. Some flux here. I don't want to get yelled at again for not using any flux. Just gotta grab it real quick. Here it is. Uh, that's the stuff I use. It's pretty similar to um, three. Um, actually, I missed the word right there. You see the yellow stuff, you know what I mean. And let me put it on there pretty generously. Um, this stuff is gooey as hell. You don't want to get it on your fingers or on your clothes. Um, well, you're gonna have a bad time. And you see those crumbs right there. That's just a pain. I'm gonna try and get my hands on some of the non-clear liquid flux next time so we can see the difference. Okay, just gonna clean up my soldering iron right there. Get my solder. Oops. And I'm just gonna reflow each of these pads one by one. There we go. Oh, that's bad. It's harder to do under the camera than I expected. But it's just about data recovery, not repair. Oop, got a gunk on there. Just a second. Oh, there it is. That's just bad preparation for the videos, folks. Okay, here we go. Just wick it back up with some solder wick. That's really handy having around. Didn't work. Okay. It spun a bit there. It's a bit off. Oops. And I'm a little concerned about the blue background I'm using here because it is not heat resistant at all so I'm just gonna, gonna snip a bit off of my solder wick because the tip on my soldering iron is not um, the biggest one so it doesn't have too much uh, heat capacitance so a big solder joint or the solder wick just sucks out the temperature 
and it just won't reflow anymore. Okay, here we go. Still got a solder bridge in there. I decided to not try it before, but do it live on camera. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Looks really bad, really bad. Oh my god. There we go. Got the bridge. It's gone. So we're just gonna reflow the last bit down there. That one actually looks pretty nice. Just gonna retouch the middle one a little bit. Don't forget to clean your soldering iron. There we go. Looks good. Just gonna inspect it close up a bit and then I'm gonna try it on my PC. Okay, and let's start this thing up on the PC and putting it in the socket. I don't know if you heard the connection noise, but there it is with my precious MP3s on it. I guess it worked. Thanks. See you in the next video. If you liked it, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Bye bye.